What's up guys, Walmart Tape Bar here. I have another video today. Um, today's fragrance video is actually gonna be on a couple of samples that I got from ZGO. If you guys are curious about this um, perfume store, it's located in Los Angeles, California. And this is my first time ordering from them, so I'm gonna show you the presentation, um, the scents. We're gonna read off the notes, read the reviews, and read the comments off for Grantica. And we're gonna go based on my personal opinions on them, longevity, and all these other things. So stick around, we have a lot of samples here. Um, let's just go straight into the presentation first, and then we'll talk about what fragrances we got. So this is by ZGO Perfumery. This is the thing, it's kind of similar to Scent Bar in New York, if you've been there. Same thing, it's just um, a location, its own store. Um, obviously in the back, it shows my address, because that's what they do for shipping out stickers. For shipping out, they put a shipping sticker on. So you open it, it says thank you right there, and it comes with this. I'm surprised it didn't come with like tester strips or anything, or it might, I don't know. I haven't opened it completely, but I kind of gave it a little bit of an unboxing myself. Um, just watch out for my dog, you know. So you open this, and I'm not gonna show this, this thank you, DGO, and you say we appreciate you, and they'll stick on their own custom um, coupon code. And that's what it looks like. None of y'all gonna steal my discount code, but that's what you get. And they'll put a sticker on there to give you your coupon code. Next we get in the box is, I'm pretty sure this is the receipt, which you can read the fragrances right off the bat. So I paid for this set, I think like 30 bucks. I don't quite remember, but the damage is here. So uh, Lorenzo Pazagani, Pazaglia, Evil Angel, Extra the Parfum, Clive Christian, Jump Up and Kiss Me Hedonist, and Macy's Friends Kirk John 724. I smelled 724 in Japan, loved it. The Jump Up and the Kiss Me, I've heard good things about. And the Evil Angel is because of the inner um, gourmand person that I am. So that's the receipt. You get the receipt, the address, shipping address. And um, yeah, I think that's all it comes with. The coupon is only valid up to 30 days, so I'm definitely going to be using that today. Be nosy. Um, so you got this. Um, did you prefer me in the front? This, so this string actually wraps around here in circle, so this stays closed. Buddy, come here. Um, and then you get your samples. So far, no leaks, so that's a good thing. You get um, Evil Angel. Let me figure it out, 724. And then Hedonist. So we're gonna do the Hedonist one last, because that's the one I'm actually really, really curious about. Um, but we're gonna do the 724 first. Because I remember selling that one in Japan. So, if you guys don't know about 724, 724 is a fresh fragrance. And um, it's been called that it's super similar to Gentle Fluidity Silver, but I'm, I'm gonna have to be the judge of that to be quite honest. Let's see, clean and fresh scent, fresh floral citrus crisp. Okay, great uplifting, I can do that. Representative of a clean, beautiful girl. We'll have to see. Unpleasant musk bomb on the dry down. Okay, not extraordinary dry issue or toilet like spray. Generic or nondescript, a clean scent. A clean scent, yeah. So you have all the hides, bergamot, jasmine, mock orange, seep, sweet pea, musk, sandalwood. Go on, jump on the bed, I don't care. Um, yeah, so it's Aqua Universale. They're still comparing it to all these. So Agua Universale, so it's basically that's what it is. And then Blanche, I've smelled Blanche before. It's very, very feminine. Um, so I gave it to my girlfriend. And this perfume, have a great day everyone, I'm never impressed. But his fragrance is also seeing a just in. Jasmine makes me immediately think of BBC. Investigation, which can be found on YouTube. How these flowers are collected by extremely poor families. I got a few small samples of this after being told I sent two words to a bus for face to face job interviews. Honestly, if I was recorded, I would not be very happy because I'm not getting room or jobs interviews. So it smells like this. Huh? It smells like lazy afternoon with some lame months. Okay, so let's get right into the video. Uh, got my little test strip here. And then we'll obviously we'll come back for the dry downs. Spray that. Yeah, that was a better spray. Okay, so this is musky. Oh, this leans a little bit more 
unisex. No way, that might actually smell like blanche. Okay, so this kind of leans into Royal Water by Creed, Blanche by um, Byredo. It's a very neutral scent. Like you just came out of the shower, but it's not shower jelly, but it's more of like, you're just fresh, you know? You, you have a clean white t-shirt type of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Let's give it a six, it's all right. Next on the list, I'll pull them like this so I know where to grab them from. Is Evil Angel by um, Lorenzo Pazaglia. And the reviews on this are 4.25. I get, ooh, okay. Ooh, rain though? I thought this had a lot of like gourmand scents. Okay, anyhow, tropical. Fruits, mint, citrus, lime, wormwood, cashmere, pedigrain, oak, rain notes, musk. Metal notes are citron, rum, coconut, cinnamon, whiskey, black lacoste. Base notes, vanilla, bourbon, vanilla, SOE super. And I think it's a cheaper formula of Embroxin if I stand correctly, but I could be wrong. Sandalwood, cedar, tobacco, myron. But there was one that I really, really, really wanted to try. That had a bunch of sweet notes in it, but it could be... Uh, let me double check. It might have been this one, but it's alright. We'll see how this one sounds. So this is going to be like a very citrusy, sweet fragrance. Narcotic delight. Please don't be a narcotic delight. Oh, it's side effects. So they compare it to side effects. Narcotic citrus, fan your flames. Let's see what it says. So it's definitely unisex. Great value. It really does smell like sour gummy candy. Very sweet and citrusy, but with a freshness to it. it. Smells like gummies. It smells like gummies. As soon as I spray it on my skin, it smells very familiar to my nose. This is a less sweet, less boozy, and it's just side effect. Tropical and complex, highly likable. This this is CK1's older class here, sexier sister. Smells so good, reminds me of Summer Hammer, but has a strong citrus smell. Okay, so sour gummy room, gummy warms. Let's we'll see. So this is uh Evil Angel. So I definitely ordered the wrong one, but it's okay, we'll continue the review anyways. Um by the way, scent of the day is why I sell Lom, uh Le Parfum. This is actually pretty good. My girlfriend loves this, loves um the Le Parfum Lom by um YSL. She loves this a lot. But anyways, Evil Angel. Lorenzo. Oh, I just waste a pretty decent sprays. Oh, that's actually nice, yes. <laughs> exactly what it is, yep. So sour gummy worms, exactly that. Ooh, yeah, sour gummy worms, just less sweet. In the summertime? You wear this in the summertime? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, I see the rain note in here, though. I see that rain note. It definitely stands out. The mint, the fruity notes, and the rain on top definitely stand out. Ooh, but that, I'm not sure where you would wear this. This would be like a vacation scent, to be quite honest. This is sweet. That's what unisex it says. I wouldn't wear this. It just varies what the conditions are. It really varies, very, very varies. Where I'm wearing this, it really varies. But I like it, it's all right. It doesn't really wow me, so it's not full bottle worthy. I'm sorry, but that ray note's very interesting. And it keeps on pulling me back. But this just has to be an occasion for this. I want Amy to just throw this on whatever in the summer. I think it would have to be one of those things where you're going out for a date, for like a candy date or something. I don't know. I really, really don't know. But well, let's wait for the dry down. We'll set this aside. We'll go for the next one. 
last one in the party. It's uh, Jump Up and Kiss Me. A hedonist. This is 2021. We'll have to find out, bro. Let's try Jump Up and Kiss Me Hedonist 2021. And we'll go by that. How about that? I'm definitely going to be ordering for them right after this video again. Good job, buddy. You're chilling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the jump up and kiss me from 2021. That cherry notes for sure is very interesting. And it's not pungent either. It doesn't punch you in the face. Ooh, I actually like that. Not crazy about it. I haven't found anything crazy about it. But I've been crazy about the mystic experience. Ooh, that's that's like that's really really nice though. That's very interesting. Ooh, bro, that's... Mm. Yeah, I was about to say colder weather. This is like a colder weather scent, but a lot of people love this stuff. A lot of people love it. So got the reviews and what they're comparing it to. They're comparing it to Infinity by Montel, Jump Bump and Kiss Me, Hedonist, the regular one, and Blonde Amber. Blonde Amber. Interesting. I have a bottle of Blonde Amber right here. Mm -hmm. So like blonde amber, just add the cherry note. Ooh, but that amber though, that cherry note comes off incense-y. It comes off like there's incense in this. Is there incense in this? No, maybe the orris. A laban... Ladanum? Ladanum? Maybe, yeah. Ooh, that's sexy though. That's really, really sexy. Now, if a woman wear this, I'm being pulled for sure. I'm being pulled. This is kind of hot though. Like, like, just imagine like a really, really bad girl. That's like absolute badass. Like, she'll jump in a car with you if you stole a car, and take over the wheel. Like, this is what it smells like to me. Like, she would, she would smell like this. This is needing more unisex, so. So yeah, the cherry's there, the tea's there, because it has mate in it. Bergamot, orange, smelling that. The neroli for sure is there. The orange, the jazz. Did I read off these notes? I'm not sure if I read off these notes, but I will right now. Black cherry, violet, mate. Bergamot, orange, sage, neroli, grapefruit, lemon for the top. Middle is tobacco, orris, jasmine, papyrus. I think the papyrus should definitely smell the orris and the tobacco. Amber, tonka bean for the base. Amber, tonka bean, leather, vanilla, moss, sandalwood, cashmere, labanum. Patchouli, vetiver, moss. Ooh, but this is definitely like date night. Like you would really pull somebody with this. You really, really would. <sighs> so nice though. We'll wait for the dry down. Now let's really get into these scents. Um, for the dry down. So let's go to MFK's 724. It basically just dries down exactly to Blanche. So if you like Barreto's Blanche, you'll like this. Yeah, basically the same thing. 
Maybe it might lean a little bit less floral with the 724, but you're getting the same thing. I'm not impressed by that. So it's okay, it's a dumb reach I could just bring on. X straight, so we're talking about Evil Angel by uh, Lorenzo something. Mm. So at the dry down of this one, it's a little bit more sugary. And the rain notes kind of pop up more with the citruses. But it gives me still sour gummy worm vibes. After somebody brought it up, it gives me that. And I think the rain kind of gives it that gummy worm, that gumminess to the citruses. So it gives you that gummy worm. So yeah, absolutely love gummy worms. You should most definitely get this. Because this one's going to definitely be that. Just think of gummy worms with a little bit calmness on the sugar. Is it sugary? Yes, for sure. But it's less, less aggressive on the sugar, for sure. I, I feel like I'd wear this when I get out of the shower and I would throw this on. It's alright. It's a very gourmand scent for sure. Um, the 724 already have something similar to it, so no. The x straight or uh, Evo I enjoy. I'd have to wear it on skin and see how I feel about it. Because to me it smells too sweet. It'd be like uh, more of her to wear. So the um, Clive Christian Jump Up and Kiss Me. Uh, the cherry note, it's still there. It's not as vibrant. The tea tends to come up more. And then the rolly tends to come up more. The citruses come up more. Again, the cherry's there. It just calmed down a little bit. The orris is there. The tobacco is there. But I love this, bro. I really, really love this. But only specifically date nights. This would really grab somebody by the neck, really. It really, really would. I know it tease them too. This is a very teasing scent, to be honest. And I'm just trying to describe it as much as I can. But this, this is this is the tease. If you love cherry, get it because it smells like cherry. Uh, it smells like cherry tobacco, but not in a bad way. Because the mate tea gives it that that subtle scent. It gives it that subtleness. But I like this though, but only date night though. Do not daily wear this. This is like special occasion. This is like special occasion fragrance. Yeah, this is teasing though. This is very teasing. Um, the Clive Christian I like the most. I like the Clive Christian more than anything else on this list. Because everything else is just kind of like either too sweet or I've already smelt it. The 724 Gamp definitely gets second place, but the Evil Angel definitely gets like third place. So, really it. Um, you guys like this? Drop a comment below. I'll keep on buying samples. Heck with it. Um, if you don't, drop this like, leave a comment below. Um, I tend to reply to comments super, super quickly. Um, generally the longest I'll take is like 24 hours and I'll reply to you. But um, yeah, this is it for today. If you guys like the video, please, please, please subscribe, bro. Subscribe to this stuff because I do fragrance videos. I do motivational videos and I also do card videos too. So you'll see my civic, me spreading positive message about the Bible or even my own opinions about stuff too. You know, you'll see um videos on proverbs you know and that's something that i dropped a couple months ago but good video if you guys are watching something else on my channel i recommend watching the dua fragrance haul that i did it's over like 15 fragrances and if you're bored you can most likely listen to it because i tend to do a lot of talking and describing so if you have your phone off um you know where your screen off or something like that it's basically like a very um vocal video so you can watch it you put your foot in while you're cooking or something um, what's next? So I'm getting the Duas version of it. So I'll definitely be comparing the both as soon as it comes in. And, um, more samples, more cars, more motivation. Peace out, y'all. Love y'all.